All right, everybody, week eight of the NFL season is upon us. I've got $127.30 I have to bet on the games this weekend. My name's Silvestri, and I'm putting my money where my mouth is. Shut up and take my money. All right, everybody, welcome to the show. Here's what we've got on tap. We're going to do a quick recap of our bets from week seven of the NFL season. I'm going to reach out to my boy, The Kid. Okay, hello, Kid. Okay, hello to you too, Kid. I'm going to give you my bets. Statman's going to give us some stats to help make me feel good about my bets. And then I'll say goodbye till next week. But first, a quick recap of last week. We had 137.30 that we had to bet. Obviously, every week we've got to bet our entire bankroll. Um, Cowboys didn't show up. Bills didn't show up. Put some money in some bad places. But I'm still over 100. I'm at 127.30. Thanks to the Lions, Todd Gurley stepping into the end zone, and uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers beating the Titans. So, we're at 127.30 going into this week. That's good news for us. Let's see how the kid did this week. Okay, hello, kid. Okay, hello, kid, but your picks were not that great this week, kid. You had the Pats and the Texans to win on both. You went 0-2. For the season, you're four and five. We know you're better than that. To be completely honest, the kid called me earlier in this week. He was very upset that he didn't win. So I expect only good things from the kid this week. Kid, what are your picks? All right, everyone's been waiting all week for the kid's picks. Kid, who do you like? San Diego and the Seahawks. San Diego and the Seahawks minus three, right? Yeah. All right, I got the Saints. What do you think, kid? They're good. They're good, kid, right? Yeah. All right, cheers, kid. All right, everyone. Those are the kids' picks. Hoping to get back on his winning ways. Now it's time for my picks. What are we going to start with? Rock solid pick. Ah, uh, the rock solid pick of the week. Um, Saints, minus four and a half against the Bears. The Bears won't have Allen Robinson. I don't know what else to tell you. I don't trust their offense. I know the Bears have a good defense. Saints have a good offense. Michael Thomas should be back. Allen Robinson doesn't do uh, – not being there is a big is a big problem for the Bears. So um, I'm going Saints minus four and a half. I'm going to put my 38-30 on that one. What else we got? Dog of the week. My dog of the week is the Pittsburgh Steelers. They continue to win despite being dogs. So I feel really good about that. Um, I like the Steelers plus 180. They're a very, very good team. This is their first game against the Ravens. The Ravens are a good team too, but I have a little bit more confidence in Roethlisberger than I do in uh, Lamar Jackson right now. So moving on from there. Titans minus six and a half. Uh, love this pick. The Bengals are good at scoring. They're terrible at defending. Um, and the Titans have a good enough defense that I think a touchdown victory for the Titans is well within the cards. Rams minus three and a half at the Dolphins. Look, here's the thing. Everyone always talks about West Coast to East Coast and it being difficult to play that way. The Rams are good at it. The Rams are very good at it. The Rams are coming to the East Coast, and uh, I think they beat Tua in his first ever NFL start. That's another component of it. First ever NFL start, I, I just, I don't, I don't understand it. I don't understand why you do it against the Rams. Love the Rams at three and a half. And my next one is over 49 and a half. That tiny, tiny, tiny little writing there says Browns. Browns Ra uh, Raiders. Love that over. The Raiders have been in some high scoring games. The Browns can't stop a nosebleed. I love that over. Now, I think that's everything, right? Or do I still have $10 left? Parlay of the day. Oh, I do have $10 left. Let's make it that parlay of the day. So here we go. We're going to go with a player parlay, which is something I'm not usually doing. Roethlisberger, over 245 passing yards. Darnold, over 204 and a half passing yards. Yeah, I'll take that. Mayfield, over 237.5. And Russell Wilson, over 305.5. So here's the thing. Roethlisberger against the, the Ravens. Yes, the Ravens are a good team, but I have a feeling that game is going to be, there's going to be more scoring than people expect. Darnold and the Jets against the Chiefs. That team is going to be losing from the kickoff. They're going to be throwing. If Darnold doesn't throw for over 200 yards, 
it's because he got hurt. Mayfield against the Raiders. Look, Raiders are a good defensive team-ish. They give up a lot of points, though, and Mayfield's going to be chucking the ball all over the place. I like 237.5 on the over. And then Russell Wilson, I mean, does the guy do anything besides throw? He almost had 300 yards in the first half last week. So I, not only do I not feel bad about that, I feel great about that. Uh, now, let's kick it on over to my boy, the Stat Man, to get some info. Stat Man, what do you got for us? I'm a Stat Man! First, Saints minus four and a half against the Bears. What are you thinking? I'm a Stat Man! Now the Steelers, plus 180 against the Ravens on the road. Titans, minus six and a half against the Bengals. Rammies, minus three and a half against a rookie QB in Tua Tunga I believe I said that properly. Where are we at? 49 and a half Browns Raiders. And then finally, this insane parlay with a bunch of overs. Do you agree with me that everyone's going to go over? All right, Statman. There we go. There we go. That's it for the week. Um, don't forget to follow us on the social medias and email us. Let us know about your, your stories. Here's the graphic. Um, Email us at putting his money. Uh, sorry, email us at, at putting his money at gmail.com. Instagram follows at putting his money. Twitter follows at putting his money. Remember, gambling is for entertainment purposes only, unless you're me, in which case you need to make this money or else you're getting paid nothing to do this show. Um, anyway, I hope you had a good time this week. I always do. My name's Silvestri. See you next time. I'm putting my money where my mouth is.